Hi ladies, Mark O'Dwyer here from Movement by Mod Personal Training and today I'm going to take you through a few tips on how you can achieve your first chin up or pull up. Really difficult movements for females if they haven't trained before but they're certainly attainable with the correct training. So I'm going to give you a few tips and pointers on how you can more effectively train towards this um, by showing you a few exercises and the correct performance points in these exercises and, and what I typically see um, mistakes, what mistakes I see being made with training towards a chin up or a pull up. So we're going to get started now. So first up I'm going to take you to a scapular pull. Um, this is done from hanging from the bar um, and what we use this for is to teach basically the star portion of a chin up or a pull up. Um, it basically teaches how to uh, recruit the musculature and the upper back in the correct order. Um, super important that you, you get a grasp of this because if you want to do full dead hang chin ups and pull ups, you're going to need to have this nailed, okay? And you find once you start doing this, you start practicing this one and you get a little bit stronger with it, your progression um, in your chin up and your pull up strength is going to really increase a lot quicker. Okay, so let's go. So they seemed very simple movements. All that was involved really was hanging from the bar and pulling your shoulders back and down together. This is known as scapular retraction and depression. Simple movement, but super important, okay? Um, and again, you saw I changed my hands. I first was overhand grip, um, which is using the pull up, and then I turned my hands into a supinated position, which we use for the chin up, okay? Really simple but give them a go. Okay, next up is a ring row, but this can also be done with a bar. So if you're, if you're in a gym that doesn't have gymnastic rings or TRX, you can use a bar. So you can use rings, TRX, or just set up a bar in a squat rack, okay? Really simple exercise. Um, again, this can be easily scaled um, to your strength level, so we can make it pretty easy, or we can, um, you know, scale it and make make it quite a bit harder. Okay, so you're gonna grab the rings, lie back. You're gonna slightly relax the shoulders at the bottom, not completely, but let them fall back a little bit, and then you're gonna initiate by pulling the shoulders back and down together, and hold to the chest. Down, nice and controlled, relax the shoulders and again initiate pulling the shoulders back and then together. Okay. Mistakes I tend to see with pulling is people begin to shrug. So instead of pulling the shoulders back and down together, they just shrug them up around their ears. Try to avoid this, keep them pull back and down together, okay? You're gonna really recruit your lats a lot more doing this and it will really help with your strength development. And to make this exercise harder or easier, to make, we simply move the feet, okay? So to make this exercise harder, we simply walk the feet in. To make it easier, we walk the feet back so we're in a more upright position. This is gonna look a bit like this. So here's a quick example um, if you want to use the bar for this exercise. So same principle behind it and again I can just lower the height of the bar in the rack to make it more difficult, raise it up to make it a little bit hard, easier. Okay, the, the final tip I'm going to give you is called an eccentric chin up or pull up. This basically involves is getting up to the top portion of a chin up or pull up and lowering yourself slowly 
in a controlled fashion. Okay, this does require a bit of strength, um, so I'd advise you get used to the ring rows um, or the horizontal rows, and you have a bit of strength there, and you've pr also practiced your scat pulls because one thing you want to avoid here is any drop at all. Okay, if you're dropping, gravity's doing the work, and you're not doing anything. Okay, so you really need to be doing it in a nice controlled fashion and if you start to drop it gets pretty rough on your elbows and shoulders so try to avoid this again if you're training these and you find yourself dropping cut it there so this is what an eccentric chin up looks like So there you have it, they were the final uh, exercise exercises I gave you, so the chin variation and the pull variation that you can use in your training um, to help build towards your chin up or your pull up. Um, again make sure you're doing it in a controlled fashion, don't have any dropping and make sure that you always complete the rep. So no half reps, it's not going to get you anywhere, <coughs> I'd say scale it back rather than try to do it and do it badly. Do it right, focus on the quality of the rep and then build from there and then, <coughs> sorry, week on week just try to slowly increase it. Thanks a lot ladies, hope you found it useful. Um, I'd appreciate it if you share it to a friend that might find it useful or just um, tag them below because um, I'd like to see uh, a lot more ladies achieving these movements of chin-ups, pull-ups, um, and then other ones, dips and push-ups. So if you're on Instagram or Facebook and you achieve your first one, make sure to tag me um, and I'll be interested to check it out. With those three movements, you should be eventually able to pull yourself back up, but it's not always as simple as that. So if you check out the link below or to the side, wherever, uh, fill in your email and I'll send you on a more detailed video on you know how to train these bodyweight movements common roadblocks that, that most people hit and how to get around these and how to like a foolproof way to really um, nail these bodyweight movements also if you're interested in joining the female strength project click the link as well fill in your details I'll get in touch with you and we can um, be in contact on how we can build this process and get started with it okay so if you want to invest in yourself um, raise the standard of your training throw in your details there and I'll be in touch with you thanks a lot ladies